Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonso. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at Plato, the father of idealism. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. Who was Plato and what was he known for? Plato was a renowned Athenian philosopher during the classical period of ancient Greece and the founder of the first institution of higher learning. Most scholars contend that Plato was born in either Athens or Aegina. We are not sure of his actual birth date, most likely not long after the start of the Peloponnesian War in the 420s before the Common Era. Plato is widely considered a pivotal figure in the history of ancient Greek and Western philosophy, along with his teacher Socrates and his most famous student Aristotle. However, Plato has often been cited as one of the founders of Western religion and spirituality. Why? This is because so-called Neoplatonism philosophers, such as Platonius and Porphyry, greatly influenced Christianity through the church fathers such as Augustine. Plato was an innovator of the written dialogue and dialectic forms in philosophy. Plato is also considered the founder of Western political philosophy. Who then influenced the man who in so many ways is the architect of the way we see the world? Firstly, it was Socrates and the likes of the pre-Socratics. These include Pythagoras, Heraclitus, and Parmenides. Unlike the work of nearly all of these contemporaries, Plato's entire body of work is believed to have survived intact for over 2400 years. Although their popularity has fluctuated, Plato's works have consistently been read and studied. Looking back at Plato's early life, very little is known. We do know that he belonged to an aristocratic and influential family. According to disputed tradition, it has been reported by Diogenes Laertius and Plato's father Ariston traced his descent from Codrus, king of Athens, and Melanthus, king of Messenia. According to ancient Hellenic tradition, Codrus was said to have been descended from the mythical deity Poseidon. Plato's mother was Parasition, whose family boasted a relationship with the famous Athenian lawmaker Solon, one of the renowned seven sages. Besides Plato, Ariston and Parasition, and three other children. They also had two sons, Adamantus and Glaucon, and a daughter, Platone. It is interesting to point out that Plato preferred to use the name Platon, which means broad. Tradition makes claim that the nickname was given to him by his wrestling coach. However, it has been argued that Plato's true name was Aristocles. According to Diogenes Laertes, Plato was actually named after his grandfather. This was a common practice in Athenian society at that time. Ancient sources describe Plato as a bright boy who was praised for his quickness of mind. Since he was from an affluent family, he had an excellent education. Plato also excelled in both gymnastics and wrestling. It is also believed that he competed in the Isthmian Games, which were held in Corinth. These games were regularly held the year before the Olympic Games. Now that we have a much clearer idea of who Plato was, what were his beliefs? Plato believed that the perfect state would contain four qualities, wisdom, courage, self-discipline, and justice. Wisdom comes from the ruler's knowledge and decisions. He is seen as a philosopher king, and for Plato, the ideal ruler. For Plato, wisdom is a skill of living that determines happiness by directing one's life as a whole. In turn, this brings about goodness in all areas of one's life, as a skill brings about order in its materials. Courage is demonstrated by the auxiliaries who defend the lands and selflessly help the rulers. Why then is Plato relevant to this day? Plato is considered by many to be the most important philosopher who ever lived. He is known as the father of idealism in philosophy. 
His writings also explored justice, equality, and beauty. Among various other topics discussed at his academy in Athens, which is believed to have been one of the first institutions of higher learning in the Western world. This brings us to the end of Plato, the father of idealism. Thank you for once again joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. Just a reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. For your convenience, we have included our email address and Instagram information. We enjoy hearing from our subscribers and encourage you to share any of your questions or comments. If you haven't subscribed to Traveler's Tales, please do. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Traveler's Tales will return with part two of Plato, the father of idealism. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.